Well, also joining me is Dr. Mark Pickering, who's a GP and Chief Executive of the Christian Medical Fellowship and a member of the Care Not Killing Alliance. Where, where is your opposition to people who feel that they really cannot tolerate the idea of falling into you know, such demise that it, it, it would constitute suffering? Why, why do you believe that those people shouldn't be able to choose how their life is ended? You ask, where is my opposition? I don't have an opposition to them. I have incredible sympathy and I've dealt with many patients, both as a GP and as a hospice doctor in the past. And anyone with, a, with an ounce of compassion will have lots of sympathy, as all the people you've had will do that. But it's a, it's a massive change to go from that position of general sympathy and can't we do something, can't we do something workable, to then put in a workable law that is safe and that will not extend itself further. You've seen all through these, uh, the, the last few uh, interviews, how there are so many different rules. You know, in Switzerland, the law is so wide, and almost anyone can get um, an assisted suicide if they if they go through the process. Andrew Mitchell uh, knows very well um, that, uh, as you put the point to him, that the Meacher Bill would not have. Um, helped the gentleman who was speaking before with Alzheimer's. It would not even have helped Paul Lamb, the, the assisted dying campaign who died earlier this year, who lived with pain for 30 years. I want to ask, where is the compassion of dignity in dying who frame a law that does not include people like Paul Lamb who've suffered for 30 years? I think it's highly disingenuous to suggest that they are the ones with compassion and that they are the ones who are framing the safe law when already we know that the other two main campaigning organisations in the UK, Humanists UK and My Death, My Decision, are already campaigning for a wider law. Paul Lamb was a, an, an MDMD campaigner. And you can't stop these things going because like in, in Canada, within just five years, we've seen that um, stipulation about terminal illness has been eroded so that disabled and chronically ill people now can have what they euphemistically called medical aid in dying, or euthanasia. People always talk about Oregon as the one where things don't change, but the numbers go up and up and up each year, and 60% almost of the people who do that do it because they feel a burden. Now, there are rules in, in America, you, uh, there's federal law against euthanasia, so it's not because Oregon hasn't uh, it didn't want to extend it further. There's reasons for that. So just like we debated at the British Medical Association today in the debates there, there's lots of, of talk about compassionate laws um, for people at the end of life. And of course, we, we're full of compassion for that. But there is a minimizing of the problems. There's a minimizing of the risk of extension. Uh, I really think that dignity in dying and not being honest about that because they know that things have changed in Belgium, in Holland, in Canada, and so many other countries, and they only talk about Oregon as if there was some sort of utopia there. I was really pleased that your um, interviewee from Switzerland actually talked about a suicide, an, a, an accompanied suicide. Campaigners don't like that term in the UK. They say, well, I'm, I'm not suicidal, just like um, the, uh, the man beforehand did. But suicide is simply the act of taking your own life. It doesn't matter whether you have a mental illness, whether you're of sound mind. It's because the, 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 the options you have before you for carrying on are worse or seem worse in your mind than the life that is before you. We are talking about suicide. We should call a spade a spade. And only just last week, it was World Suicide Prevention Day. So let's prevent suicide and let's defeat the Meacher Bill. Dr. Mark Pickering, thank you so much for giving me your position in this incredibly complex debate. That's Dr. Mark Pickering, GP, Chief Executive of the Christian Medical Fellowship and member of the Care Not Killing Alliance.